chat. Today we are going to be taking a look at the very latest Ubuntu Studio release, Ubuntu Studio 22.04, which is built on the recently released Ubuntu base, uh, Jammy Jellyfish, uh, only recently released in the last uh, few days as an LTS, a uh, long term support edition. So, without further ado, let's jump straight in. Okay, so here we are, and this is the desktop that you first get dropped into when you after you install Ubuntu Studio 22.04. As you can see, they've gone with a black theme, and uh, yeah, it's it's okay. I, I would say it's fairly minimalistic. Um, up here, you can see the calendar and um, wireless and Ethernet. They all pick up fine. This is, uh, this is running on a test laptop that I've recently built and I'm um, doing a video project for uh, which you'll see coming up over the next few weeks. Um, but So this is a HP uh, 250 uh, G5 laptop so really no problems with uh, Linux uh, at all on here it's just a, a standard full HD screen uh, no discrete graphics drivers so yeah it's fairly compatible with most uh, Linux releases. This is based on KDE, which was uh, a little bit of a shock to me because last time I used uh, Ubuntu Studio a few years ago, it was based on GNOME. But uh, over the last few releases, apparently, it's been uh, basing itself on KDE. And that obviously brings a lot of advantages. As you may have seen from the last uh, Ubuntu KDE Neon uh, review, KDE brings uh, a whole lot of customization options. You can really do whatever you want with your desktop. As always we're going to take a look at the wallpapers bundled in and uh, we have all of four wallpapers, four wallpapers which is not an awful lot but uh, especially for a release that's geared towards uh, creative individuals um, yeah four wallpapers but uh, I've set up the jammy jellyfish wallpaper there which you can see and um, uh, just to prove it's running on jammy jellyfish there it is um, because it's KDE you can easily change the themes and you can download uh, brand new themes as well uh, you can you've got an Ubuntu Studio dark theme which is the theme that uh, it comes with I've actually switched it to the light theme uh, which should come with a light top bar but the uh, it needs to be restarted for the light top bar to take effect so you have this sort of strange mix on the review at the moment of a light window with a dark bar so yeah Ubuntu Studio 2204 based on KDE Plasma 5.24 uh, and uh, X11 graphics platform instead of Wayland. Uh, as you can see, there's the specifications on this HP laptop i5 6200U with 8 gig of RAM. If we look at the multimedia uh, options within KDE, there are obviously quite a few. You can really control and fine tune the inputs and outputs within KDE uh, very well, uh, thanks to the Pulse Audio uh, control settings that are based uh, within KDE itself. So yeah, it's it's fairly straightforward to do. As this is a standard full HD laptop, we don't face some of the issues some of my other reviews faced uh, with the Dell XPS uh, full HD, uh, sorry, uh, UHD uh, screen. So this is simply 1920 by 1080 uh, standard screen size, but full HD. No problems there. You can configure night color as well, which is uh, essentially a a way for the screen to automatically darken at a set time uh, whilst you're using the, the, the laptop which is a good way of saving your eyesight comes with a lot of releases nowadays going back to appearances there you can see there's an awful lot of options but uh, KDE system settings really kind of the standard KDE system settings but Ubuntu Studio really is all about the applications that come bundled with it. So we're going to take a look now at some of the applications that come bundled with Ubuntu Studio. Of course, all of these are open source and free. 
Uh, first one there is Ardur 6, which is a digital audio workstation. Um, it's very highly regarded within uh, the uh, professional musician space. Uh, of course, we have Audacity for uh, your general modification of sound waves. Uh, and then uh, we also have a whole number of mixers, perhaps I would say too many in fact uh, that they, they really seem to have thrown everything into this release and um, I would say taking a look through all these mixers it could be uh, quite confusing if you're uh, a new user or it's actually quite confusing to me as well uh, that there are just so many things I've never tried before LMMS which is a music production suite uh, that that's pretty decent it's nice to see that there um, there's uh, applications there for making music using musical notation as well and all sorts of mixers as I've just pointed out as well. Media playback you have Alyssa as your music player and VLC uh, media player is your standard media player for anything from videos, uh, DVDs, um, audio CDs etc. Yeah, and a couple of other options there for recording your screen. I actually use that uh, screen recorder app there to record the uh, this this desktop screen, which was actually worked quite nicely. You also get LibreOffice uh, with uh, this release of Ubuntu Studio, uh, and it's well, it's LibreOffice. It's based on the latest version of LibreOffice. It's perfectly capable of handling your uh, any sort of document or spreadsheet demands that you might have and it's also compatible uh, largely with uh, most of the MS Office uh, formats as well. If we look at the graphic design packages again you have an awful lot of graphic design packages bundled in here. I would say actually um, the selection of graphic design packages here are perhaps uh, more comprehensible uh, than the audio ones in in the I guess the terms of I know what most of them are and what they do um, so yeah you you get uh, Krita which is kind of a Photoshop app you get Blender which is a 3D modeling app um, and you get a whole host of other uh, applications including a, a Microsoft Paint clone as well somebody obviously had a sense of humor there when they created that on Linux video production you've got the standards there you've got Caden Live which is suitable being this is a KDE release uh, you also have OBS uh, and both of those are really standards in terms of creating a video and I am using both of those um, applications as I create this video as well we're just taking a look at the system options there and again there really are quite a few system options um, it's interesting that uh, Discover is within the actual system uh, menu. Uh, it's not the place I would necessarily put it. I would normally put it on a home menu or in, in on the home screen or in the dashboard, but it's in the system menu here. And this is where you basically get your uh, general applications. Uh, it's fairly good. I wouldn't say it's the friendliest of software centers, but uh, it does the job quite nicely. And of course, you can always use sudo apt get it from the console or terminal. Yeah, the uh, Dolphin file manager is also uh, a really good file manager. It uh, has previews on folders enabled by default. It also has previews on most file types by default as well. So uh, you'll be able to work out, uh, if you're not unsure of the file name itself, you'll be able to hopefully work out uh, the file you're looking for from the preview. Let's just go into configure settings now and take a look. Right, uh, yeah, so you, with as with any uh, KDE Dolphin release, you've got a whole heap of options here. Interestingly, with this release, uh, you don't have single click enabled by default as the behavior, but you have double click. Um, I actually, I was getting into using single click on KDE Neon Review that I did last time, but I did find it a bit awkward when uh, I was renaming files 
um, of course I could use the right click button and rename like that on the, the neon but um, I kept force of habit sort of clicking on the folder or the file and of course it would open instead of allowing me to uh, rename the file name this time it's double click so uh, it sort of suits my uh, I'm a creature of habit <laughs> nature of, uh, of single clicking on a file and expecting it uh, to not open as you can see there Right, uh, yeah, the uh, folder screen, uh, the folder icons have now changed to blue as well, which is nice, a little bit more modern feeling than uh, the sort of beige icons that we uh, did have before. So that's quite nice. I would say the overall, uh, the overall desktop, um, if I'm honest, feels a little bland. Um, given that this is uh, sort of geared towards creative, uh, individuals uh, it's not very exciting but I think actually the thrust of this release is about uh, doing the job and kind of getting out of the way so um, yeah I think that's what this release is all about there's also a lot of online support available uh, as well uh, which is quite nice you have the Ubuntu Studio team support so if you run into any issues the Ubuntu Studio community is very strong and they're more than happy to help and there's of course support directly from Ubuntu as well if we take a look at Ubuntu Studio uh, information a little bit more there you've got Ubuntu Studio Cafe as well which is kind of like a gathering point for anyone who's into Ubuntu Studio and of course we have the KDE Help Center itself which is actually a really nice well written manual on the basics of KDE desktop environment so yeah it, here we have the console and we're just gonna uh, now take a look at uh, digging in a little bit more we are going to take a look at something called INXI which is a tool that I use for um, getting a little bit more detail about what I'm running and why so we're doing sudo apt install INXI it doesn't come by default uh, Okay, and that's going to go off and install it now. All right, INXI dash. Okay, FX. All right, so now we're starting to see a little bit more detail uh, about what we are actually running. And um, yeah, so uh, as I said before, we're running on a uh, distro base of Ubuntu 22.04 Jammy Jellyfish um, we're running KDE Plasma 5.24.4 and uh, you can see some of the uh, devices the details on the laptop that I'm running here um, it's not an especially powerful laptop but it's more than capable of running this release and what I'm interested in there is the CPU temperature which is running very low at the moment which is nice to see it's uh, it's not getting too hot at all and the resources here are also uh, pretty decent given that this is just a 6200U uh, i5 CPU it's actually running very comfortably so let's have a look at studio controls now and studio controls is a custom utility that is actually put together by the Ubuntu studio team and uh, essentially it's one central place to cover all of your inputs and outputs which is very useful uh, when you are, have different setups um, for example uh, if you have different synthesizer setups uh, if you have different microphone setups you can set it all up in here in one central bridge and then save that uh, and use that as a preference you also uh, have access to something called Carla and Carla is uh, a patching uh, software that essentially allows you to patch your uh, different digital audio uh, equipment microphones uh, a bit like uh, a proper mixer desk with patching available on there so from an audio point of view there's a lot of options here and it's very nice that they've gone to the trouble of building this kind of central 
uh, place where you can configure it all in one place and then it's all set up for you. Um, and that really is the secret source actually in Ubuntu Studio. It, they've, they've done it, uh, this distribution in such a way that uh, rather than having to go to the trouble of fiddling around with lots of codecs um, and trying to get uh, different audio codecs uh, and different drivers working within this release which can be uh, trouble for even some of the most advanced Linux users, uh, they've kind of gone to the trouble of creating this uh, utility. So we're just taking a look at Caden Live here. I'm not expecting any problems with Caden Live, as I do with all my videos, uh, all my uh, video reviews. I actually create uh, this uh, YouTube uh, video uh, on on the uh, release that I'm reviewing, really to put the distribution to the test and to find out if there are any issues. Um, so far, so good. This seems to be pretty stable. So what are my thoughts on uh, this release now? Um, I would say um, it's it's uh, so far so good. It's an early release. If you look at, uh, when I say early release, there's a note on the uh, Ubuntu Studio community's uh, website that obviously this is the first release based on Ubuntu Jammy Jellyfish, which was only released on April the 21st, even though it's a LTS, they are potentially expecting some uh, catch-up issues with perhaps some codecs uh, and maybe with some other software applications and drivers. However, it doesn't seem the case at the moment, although I haven't had the chance to play with everything in here. Um, I would say that there is an awful lot of software bundled in here. Um, it can be quite confusing. My preference would be uh, if the software was perhaps more finely cu curated with some of the top end applications, it's great to see Arda, it's great to see OBS, Caden Live, uh, and some of the other uh, applications in here. But I think if perhaps they could uh, tighten up on some of those other applications and maybe other ones that aren't so needed, like for example the Microsoft Paint uh, Studio uh, a clone, that could probably be dropped for just sticking with something like Krita, for example. I would have also liked to have seen a slightly nicer uh, desktop environment, particularly as KDE is so customizable, you really could make this uh, a standout uh, desktop environment. But I perfectly understand that this is designed to be lean and mean. It's designed to be uh, very quick uh, and also introduce uh, no latency to when you're recording. So yeah, this could be a really good uh, platform to base your uh, musical ambitions or your creative ambitions on. I think um, it might take a little bit of getting used to initially um, since there is so, so much in here uh, as a release. But uh, overall, pretty impressed. And uh, yeah, I think uh, if you are if you are into audio or if you are into um, anything really creative, this may be a, a release that would be of interest to you. So that's my review of Ubuntu Studio 2204. If you have enjoyed this review and would like to uh, see more reviews, then please click like and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to uh, ask for a specific review on a specific release, then please do uh, add your comments down below. Uh, I'd love to see your comments. Um, for the person who asked for a Debian release, I'm working on it. It's coming soon. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon.